Well, bats make up one of the largest groups of mammals we have here in Washington. And while bats generally are common, it can be difficult to get a handle on which bats occur in different locations. As you can imagine, knowing which bat species occur in a given locale is an important element in being able to manage for viable bat populations. Even today, the state of knowledge regarding Washington's bats is relatively basic. For example, 10 years ago, spotted bats were first discovered in Washington. And for many bat species, we're just starting to figure out where they do and do not occur across the Washington landscape. Well, this year, the Department of Fish and Wildlife teamed up with other resource agencies to conduct bat surveys on the Sinlahican Wildlife Area in Upper Okanagan County. The Sinlahican encompasses over 14,000 acres in a pretty arid landscape, but possesses an abundance of water, which results in the valley attracting wildlife. For bats, water and roost habitat are the greatest factors that limit their distribution. Roost sites, those places where bats seek shelter to rest, reproduce, and engage in social activities, can be pretty rare in some landscapes, but are abundant in the Sinlahican Valley. The Sinlahican provides cliffs, snags, and other roost habitat in such a way that 10 of Washington's 15 species of bats have been documented to occur there. Bats are captured using finely woven mist nets that are virtually invisible. These bats are carefully removed from the nets and examined to determine their age, gender, and reproductive status. And we measured them, which helps in identifying a bat to species and with determining regional differences between bats of the same species. Most bats can only be identified by subtle differences in physical features, like the length of the forearm, shape of the skull, or by the presence or absence of uh, tiny hairs or flaps of skin that can be difficult to see. On the other hand, there are species of bats which can be quite easy to identify because of more exaggerated physical traits like unusually long ears or significant fur coloration. All in all, a number of features are used collectively to key out a bat and document its presence at a particular location. Information on species distribution allows us to start building a picture of which bats occur across Washington and where they occur. Coupled with information on important roost sites, biologists can apply management strategies that will help ensure viable bat populations now and into the future.